Hello, and welcome to Pro Trader Strategies Market Commentary for Friday, November the 4th. My name is Eric Wilkinson. Some of you may recognize me as the Wolfman from CNBC, Fox Business, or even the Wall Street Journal, where I've commented on everything from economic to geopolitical and market analysis. Keep in mind that everything that we teach you in these daily market commentaries is not a solicitation to buy or sell any of these securities or strategies. At the end of the day, we're here to teach you some different strategies that you can implement into your own portfolios, but please do that in your own way. The reason why I can't give you a recommendation on a particular stock or strategy is because I don't know your risk parameters. I don't know what's in your portfolios, and therefore what I'm doing could be counterintuitive to what you are already doing. Having that out of the way, let's get this on. Uh, a little bit of economic data across the pond in the form of uh, services PMI. We got Spanish services PMI lower than expected at 54.6. Italian services PMI came in at 51.0, slightly lower than expected there as well. French services PMI came in lower than expected at 51.4. And German services PMI came in line with expectations. Here in the United States, we got unenjoyment. Yeah, that's the non-farm payrolls. The unemployment is what we used to call it on the floor. Every Friday, first Friday of every month, you get the large unemployment number. And it came in at a dismal 160,000 uh, hires, expected to be 174,000, which both of those numbers are not that great. Um, you know, when we're having a robust economy, we're seeing you know, a quarter of a million people getting hired, uh, just not very good right now. Unemployment rate did remain unchanged at 4.9%. So um, that being said, the unemployment rate is a little bit wanky anyway. Later on today, we also have Fed uh, Fisher speaking today. So uh, we also had uh, Lockhart speaking, and he basically said that they the bar is not very high and that they probably are not moving in December. I've talked about this several times. It's not good when the uh, these Fed governors raise rates during a holiday season because it puts it in the mindset. Of course, we're not feeling that interest rate rise uh, when they raise it right away, but it is a mindset to the consumer that interest rates are on the rise and they're going to start crimping their spending. So uh, Lockhart did speak and say that he doesn't really see that that is going to be a certainty. So uh, like to see, and he would also like to see higher import prices So uh, and inflationary factors. So that just not being a factor right now, there's no real urgency for these guys to start raising interest rates. And we're just not seeing a whole lot of traction. We are seeing expansion. We're not seeing contraction, but we're not seeing the robustness that uh, they would have liked to have seen. Anyway, on to the overall markets. We've got crude oil uh, pushing a little bit lower today, down about 60 cents, and it is below the 50 Fibonacci level. So that's a key support resistance level. That just so happens to line up with the, uh, the time uh, node for the market profile, which is where the most time has been spent. The volume spent a little bit higher at uh, 54, or sorry, 45, uh, 64, right here in 44, 06, 07-ish area is where the most time has been spent. So volume a little bit higher. But having said that, um, that might not act as much of a support resistance level as it will act as a, um, as a comfort area for the most part. So you could really see it bouncing back and forth above and below that line relative with relative ease not acting as much of a, a support line uh, we've got crude oil put or sorry <laughs> gold pushing higher again today up another dollar 80 uh, and above that thirteen hundred dollar a level uh, which it settled above there yesterday remember we talked about it was below that quite a bit for a while and it ended up pushing up and above that thirteen hundred dollar psychological level that we've been talking so much about we've got bonds pushing up higher almost a full point on the day they were up uh, very close to it earlier on up 25 ticks on the day as uh, a lot of these fed governors are coming out today and saying that the interest rate rise horizon is starting to get pushed out i.e uh, locker talking about that today uh, then on to the dow jones industrial average it's up 20 points 
you know, the overall markets don't want to see interest rates rise out at, as well. We are continuing to see the VIX rise, which is uh, a little bit of a conundrum, especially with the overall markets pushing a little bit higher. But the Dow Jones found support on this 200-day moving average, the orange line yesterday, and opened up and above that today and started pushing uh or it has made its way higher there as well. Uh, we've got the NASDAQ futures up six points on the day. You're going to start seeing this. It's starting to look like we're getting this uh, bit of a hangman doji at the bottom of some of these moves in um, the equities, which could start to indicate that we've found a bit of a bottom here, and it just so happens to be lining up with this area here, which is uh, this will act as the support uh, as well as this, these, this whole area here will be support um, for the bulls to defend, and it looks like they're doing so right now. So overall markets looks like we could have a bit of a turnaround to come back up to the uh, point of control. Then on to the E-mini S&Ps. E-mini S&Ps made that spinning top dojo yesterday after we broke below that 200-day moving average. It's held support here today. It uh, has not been confirmed to the upside, but uh, we're starting to see a similar pattern where there's a, looking like there's a bit of a bottom being created across the equities. And to the 15-minute chart of the mini S&Ps forward slash ES, again, off of that economic data points that we started seeing this morning, uh, the unemployment number not being that great, the markets somewhat rejoicing and probably having to do with the Fed governors talking uh, a little bit more dovish, which means dovish means that they're not really going to be raising rates, uh, and uh, hawkish means that they are actively trying to battle inflation in a sense. So keep that in mind. The only thing that I've done today is BM ticker symbol BMI Bristol Myers, and the only reason why I've went in here is because it has pretty good implied volatility. Um, the overall markets, if we found a bit of a bottom here, I uh, decided I was going to add a little bit more long deltas. My portfolio is getting longer deltas, as you've seen some of the past uh, trades that I've taken off for profit has uh, been the short delta part of my portfolio. Now I'm starting to get a little bit long deltas, so uh, my portfolio being a little bit more bullish in a sense. So uh, I added a little bit more long deltas to my portfolio in Bristol Myers ticker symbol BMI by selling the December 47 puts for 51 cents. Not a big trade, but looking to get about 50% of my max profit on that. Looks like it's probably found a bit of a bottom. It, and at the end of the day, if we do have it pulled back in Bristol Myers, buying at 47, which is well below the 52 week low, that seems like a pretty good spot for me to uh, be jumping into that one there. So that would be uh, something that if I get put to it, you know, I just start lowering my basis on it by selling calls against that long stock and owning it for a little bit cheaper. All right. So that's how I'm playing that one. Uh, today's webinar is going to be on the long straddle. So we've got uh, well over 250 people signed up for that. Should be a really good one. Um, so go to protraderstrategies.com, sign up for that. And if you can't take that, take it easy.